hello today i'm sharing with you some ways you can create connection with your children no matter how busy you are we all know that connection should be the goal of every parent especially in today's society because connection leads to influence and we need to be able to influence our children in today's society my name is Amy Murebo. I work with young school children teaching manners, etiquette, sexual education, leadership skills, and building healthy characters. I also work with parents, coaching and mentoring them on effective 21st century parenting, parenting practices. Firstly, connecting with your children is not in the one thing you do or the periodic treats you give them, but in the things you do or do not do every day. Now, the first thing you want to do always to create connection with your children is to listen. When they come to you, they have something to say. You need to learn to listen. You make eye contact. You ask open-ended questions. You put your phones away. You give them your full attention. Now, if you do not listen, you are going to assume. And when you assume, you are not going to be able to trace the root cause of issues if they have issues they are sharing with you. Then you are not going to be able to meet their need for coming to you in the first place. So listening is definitely a skill you want if you want to build connection with your children. Two, let them have a say. Let them have their, an opinion. Let their opinion count sometimes. Everybody feels loved and respected. Everybody feels important when their opinion counts. So let them have a say. Let their opinion count. That is one of the ways you can create connection with your children. Three, Create time for family activities, bonding activities, build memories together. Memories, they will look back and they will have a smile on their face. Build memories together. Create them for activities, no matter how little the activity is. It can be cooking together. It can be practicing a skill together. It can be working together. It can be um, doing a chore together, decluttering together. Just create time for an activity together. Fill their love tank. Now, this is very, very important. Everybody has um, different love language. Understand your child's love language and meet your child's love needs. Hug, kiss, um, help them out with things, give them attention, quality time, meet your child's love language. In fact, hug your children very many times a day and tell them you love them very many times a day don't be don't hold back on i love you say it let them know let them see it in words and in your actions four be patient it is very important be patient with them understand their developmental stage understand their struggles understand their needs Understand factors responsible for why they do the things they do, their choices, and be patient with them. Learn to empathize with them, walk in their shoes or run in their shoes. Remember the time you were their age and how you, how you fared and be very patient with them. Lastly, take every misbehavior as a cry for help and help the child. Minimize the judgment. Minimize the criticism, minimize the negativity that comes with misbehaviors and take it as a cry for help and actually help the child by empowering them with skills they need not to misbehave again. My name is Enimie Orebo. You can follow me on Facebook at Enimie Orebo or you check me out on YouTube at Parenting with Enimie Orebo. Thank you so much for watching. If you got value, do where to share. Bye for now.